Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you and we welcome you to the beautiful Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Beverly Hills, California. One of the most highly anticipated fights of the year. It's champion versus champion with Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant. I feel good. I feel ready for the fight. I always ready for a fight. It's part of my life. I want to make history in boxing. That's why I'm here and so it's important for me. Si tuvieras que poner en una lista la, la importancia de tus peleas, ¿dónde pones la del 6 de noviembre? De las más importantes, porque es eh, unificar títulos, eh, una de las cosas que muy pocos han logrado. Que es para todos los mexicanos. What we're going to try and do is just a slow walk in. And you guys will stop, so we're going to your respective spots. In three, two, one. He's got somebody in front of him who he knows is not scared of him not here to just sit all quiet and hand over his belt and ride off into the sunset like that's not why i'm here uh, for some reason i think it yeah. strokes his ego the wrong way and he don't like that i respect his skills he have a, a lot of skills in boxing but the way he say bad things that's not my way to promote fights but uh he come with that okay you got what you won. She's over there talking to Spanish. I don't know. I don't look at him any different than anybody else that I fought. He's just, to me, he's another opponent. So. How do you think he's going to act? That's up to him. Is there anything that scares you, Canelo Alvarez? What, what frightens you? <laughs> Nothing about boxing. No. This well, is what I love. Yeah. So. Well, my pleasure to introduce the principals at this time. We're going to bring them out. They're going to face off for the very first time. Oh, no. This whole might blow up for real. I might just ruin all this today for real. Please welcome the undefeated and defending IBF super middleweight champion, Caleb. <laughs> 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 You will see something different. You see soon. I promise you. I ain't you wanna boys. pay everything. You gonna see. You wanna pay everything. You gonna, you wanna yeah, feel something different. Promise. You wanna feel something different. I promise you. You will see. You wanna feel something different. Yeah. You know in this level. You know in this level. You wanna see. You wanna. You wanna see. You wanna see. You wanna see my. Okay. Okay. I don't tell him. On November 6th, two men who have reached an impasse will clarify what combat is for. Yes, the stakes are high in this blockbuster bout for an undisputed championship held in a fighting mecca that is no stranger to history. But this is not just a boxing match, at least not in the traditional sense. It's not defined by celebrity spectacle, or media attention. It's more primal than that. It's two men who seek comfort and clarity through violence. Mama mia. Tremendous punishment, oh wow! Two men with broad shoulders who carry unfathomable weight deep within their hearts. From the ashes of despair, loss, and poverty, these men are not fighters because they're athletes. These men are fighters because they don't know how else to live. The work, But clarity remains a tricky concept, especially when it's delivered by fist. Because on November 6th, answers will be served the old-fashioned way. And only one champion will receive the comfort he seeks. All of you who tell me what I can't do, a lot of you live believable lives. I set out to live an unbelievable life and accomplish unbelievable things. He thinks that if he beats you, he'll have a big name there. Everybody thinks the same thing. It's a story for all my fanáticos, for all Mexico. We're going to make history, if God wants, together. Most fighters don't even look like this on the scale.
Oh my god. Look at that <laughs> thing. You like it? Fire. Te gusta? Yeah, it's perfect. It's in the center. Yeah, I love it. What do you think? <laughs> Not bad. For a boxer. No, you're a golfer right now. And then at three o'clock, back to boxer. <laughs> <laughs> Attempting to master another sport is how Canelo Alvarez clears the noise. Shorter. Mm -hmm. yeah. And with the emotions charged in the lead up to the November 6th bout, seeking an undisputed championship will require intense focus. <laughs> the way Canelo sees it, that doesn't mean only in boxing. Before my training camp is gym to my house, gym to my house, in some point is getting boring, you know? The routine from my head, something outside of boxing is good. That's such good flow to it, good rhythm, huh? Sí. Like es un deporte muy adictivo y la verdad es que me ayuda mucho en mi vida. Me ayuda mucho en mi vida porque es un deporte que te relaja. Cinco horas jugando en el campo, llego a mi casa relajado. Patient. Patient. Te crisis, te crisis, sayoleto. Pero es un deporte muy difícil y por eso me gusta. Soy una persona que le gustan los retos y... It's too fast. No, it's too fast in the middle, so you just kind of lost your flow. Siempre que quiero seguir aprendiendo, aprendiendo, aprendiendo. At the end of the day, he wants to be the best. We all know that about his boxing, and he takes it straight to his golf, and that's why he is the way he is, you know, when he plays with me. He wants to beat me every single time, or beat anyone he plays with, which is, which is pretty cool to watch. It's pretty easy, huh? Yeah. Pretty easy when you believe in your shot. Oh, yeah. Right? It's just do it. Are you showing off for the cameras now, bro? Tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm about to have me a good time today. I got more than enough time I got to waste. You don't become the pound for pound king without drive. But rather than dial back in his second decade of boxing, Canelo has added a golf obsession to his twice daily training. And with four bouts in 12 months, he's continuing a lightning bolt sprint towards becoming the undisputed super middleweight champion. Yo creo que nunca se había visto no en tan poco tiempo en, en menos de un año lograr ser el campeón unificado. Entonces para mí eso es hacer historia y es lo que quiero en mi carrera. Es es, es algo algo importante. I'm from a small town called Ashland City. It's right outside of Nashville and uh, country, you know what I'm saying, from the woods. I'm not from some big boxing community. You know, there's no like community of fighters where I could be like, copy them firsthand or it was just like on my dad and then I would watch YouTube. Caleb Plant has held true through a life of extremes. And the sizable chip on his shoulder is the product of a family ethos where belief runs deep. On our first gym experience, we put tape down in the shape of a square and that's where we would spar. We didn't have any rings, so the parents would literally just hold hands and stand around, kind of make just that's the closest we could come to a ring, you know, just this is where you fight at. This profession is not for the faint-hearted. I was very hard on him. I pushed him as hard as I could push him. Maybe, maybe too hard sometimes, I'm sure. I can remember like being a number one seed at a tournament and getting a buy on my dad going to the commission the night before, pulling me as the first seed and putting me in the last seed and telling him if my son wants to win this tournament, he, he's got to fight every day. He don't get a buy. And I'd be like, man, what? you know, let me get a buy. But, uh, you know, it, it was good that he did that. He was he was really tough on me, but it paid off. It worked out. Hey, bro. Yeah. Double jab, slip jab, 
This tough love incubator built an impenetrable confidence. And now, a champion undefeated in 21 bouts, his punishing hands have brought the pinnacle within reach. Boom, boom. Such rare air lifts plant into elite company, drawing Hall of Fame visitors like retired 168 pound champion Andre Ward. I came out, you know, I was just, you see all the little nuances and layering in different rhythms. And you see it, bro, you can see yourself thinking, bro. Come and get a little shake out. He moving them legs too, like when you shot a box, and all the stuff he was doing the board. Just move. Why not? Just move, move, move. This way. This way. Then go back to shot box. Like, move again. Just keep getting that conditioning up with Bro, I can move for 12 rounds if I wanted to. Good job. Good job keeping that right hand up. You can keep that right elbow. In two, yep. I feel like in this sport, you know, I've been being told like what I can accomplish, what I can't accomplish my whole life, you know what I'm saying? Nice block, counter, trigger. There's no words that are gonna through. convince people. You don't convince people through your words. You convince people through your actions. And touch! Good job. There's nothing I can tell them. You know, the only thing I can do is show them. Son es Swarovski. Es Swarovski. Claro, y también tengo otros ahí que los voy a usar este en esta semana. Me los mandan para usarlos y la verdad que entreno a gusto con ellos. Me siento especial. Even after so many years of success and the fame and money that follows, don't mistake Canelo for the born in shorts with crystals type. Venir desde abajo y estar donde estoy, en, en el número uno y, y haciendo lo que estoy haciendo, historia. Creo que todo el mundo respeta eso. Tienes que tener mucho carácter en el boxeo para llegar a ser. Si no tienes el carácter, si no tienes ese instinto de, de ser peleador, pues no puedes llegar, pero no es lo mismo. The youngest of eight siblings and one of seven boys who boxed a fighting spirit lifted Alvarez from humble beginnings in Guadalajara to the top of the toughest sport. After turning pro at 15, Canelo has spent more than half his life conquering boxing with flair. Alongside trainer Eddie Reynoso, he has won championships in four divisions, staking his claim as the best boxer of this era. Ahí va, 10 segundos. Vamos, vamos, mi dog. Modo killer. Modo killer. Va este, a veces te agarras pensando y ya ves el camino que ha recorrido, en este caso con, con Canelo, que pues ya tenemos casi 17 años trabajando. Ahí va, dos más. Ahí va. Ahí va. Lo más importante aquí es que no se le ha ido el, el hambre de, de seguir creciendo, de seguir ganando, de seguir triunfando en, en el boxeo. For Canelo, Plant's claims to the throne are nothing new. Same song, different singer. And yet, this particular opponent has made this particular bout undisputedly personal. When I take something personal, for me it's, it's even better because my mind is strong. Uh, I train like more hard than usually. I'm gonna be in the ring that, that night and, and thinking about what happened. Es, es un buen boxeador. Es un buen boxeador, boxea bien, tiene un buen jab, rápido, buenas combinaciones, es alto. Va a ser difícil en los primeros asaltos. Eso, vivo. No es una pelea fácil, pero 
como te digo, tengo las habilidades y tengo la experiencia de poder eh, haber estado con, con, con peleador y con todo tipo de, de estilos en el cuadrilátero y, y, y pues tengo esa experiencia y, y, y ahora sí que las habilidades para, para lograr esto. Y estoy muy, muy confiado en, en, en que lo puedo hacer. No confiado en, 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 en el en mal sentido, sino confiado en lo, que, en lo que sé hacer y en lo que puedo hacer. Bueno. Oh, ¿Qué pasó, mi guapa? Aquí estoy en la caminadora. <risa> Ándale, pues. Te amo. Love, love, love. My wife. If Alvarez seems smitten, it's because his life outside the ring has changed. In May, just one week after defeating Billy Joe Saunders, he married longtime partner Fernanda Gomez. Today, after training, Mr. and Mrs. Alvarez and their daughter Maria visit Eddie Reynoso's home for a barbecue. How are you? Yo no creía mucho en lo, en lo de en, en, en el matrimonio. Nos casamos y, y pues estaba equivocado yo de alguna manera, estaba equivocado. Me siento diferente, me siento un hombre más feliz todavía. ¿Te dije que sí? No, no, no. Eh, la mujer de mi, de mi vida y me hace muy feliz. Ahora sí que completa todo, todo en mí. Eso es lo único que puedo decir. Being a father, like being a prize fighter, is at once made easier by experience. And still an evolving, unending challenge. For an achiever like Canelo Alvarez, the hard work required is part of the fun. ¿Te ayudo? Soy papá de tres, entonces tienes que saberle encontrar a cada uno su manera. Es muy difícil ser padre porque no, no hay un manual para cómo serlo. ¿no? ¿Qué te vas a pintar? Espérame. De Rosita. ¿Quieres que te pinte yo? ¿O tú solita? Okay. Oh. Ya, 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 ya. Oh, my goodness, qué guapa. Es lo más bello que existe, ¿eh? ¿Oíste? Es muy difícil decirle que no, y más porque es, es muy aferrada. Es, si quiere algo, está ahí, está hasta que lo consigue. Eh, pero es muy bonito. Es la cosa, una de las cosas más bonitas que me ha pasado en mi vida. Para mí es, es mi vida entera. ¿Qué había un qué? ¿Un zombie? ¿Esa es una película de zombies? No, ¿verdad? ¿Te da miedo? Sí. Quítala. And remember, guys, asking the same questions over and over is draining for the fighter. So just try to be a little bit strategic on what you're going to ask him. Qué tal es un placer tener con nosotros a Kelly Plant, who's uh, getting geared up to take on Canelo Alvarez November 6. They were talking earlier about your humble beginnings, and now you're in the biggest fight of your life. But this is how big of an opportunity this is for you. You're starting to feel that as you get closer and closer. There's a lot more at stake, of course. Yeah. As IBF super middleweight champion. Caleb Plant understands the attention that accompanies a high-stakes fight. But I feel like I'm prepared for this. Again, I've been in the main event, you know, a handful of times before on the big stage with a lot of people watching, and this is no different. But facing the world's top boxer drastically brightens the spotlight and draws a whole nother level of scrutiny. How difficult of an opponent do you see Canelo? Do you look at this as like, wow, like, this guy is like the biggest challenge? Yeah, this is the biggest challenge of my career. But um, every other great fighter before me has been in this position where they stepped up, they fought someone who that they 
a, a lot of people felt like that they were the underdog against, and they come out on top, and then they're the big dogs. So I mean, it's not like it hasn't been done before. You know, I've been boxing a long time at a high level too, so you know, I got a lot of experience, high pressure situations. You know, whether it's in the ring or out of the ring, and they both kind of help each other. You know. There's a duality to Caleb Plant's existence. His success, grand as it is, intertwines with tragedy. In May of 2013, the promising young amateur celebrated the birth of his daughter, Aaliyah. But soon, the young father would receive devastating news. Three or four days after she was born, I went to the national tournament, but then I got a call while I was there that Seems like maybe things may not be all the way right, and it was difficult, the situation I was in, but, you know, not as difficult as the situation she was in. Aaliyah had a brain abnormality that led to hundreds of seizures a day. She would pass away at 20 months old. But near the end of Aaliyah's heartbreakingly short life, her father held her tightly, making a promise he would do anything to keep. You know, when she was still here, I would rock with her and tell her, you know, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to become, and what we're going to do, and tell her I'm going to become a world champion. It's not like I got to do a whole lot of things as a dad, you know what I'm saying? But I told her that's what I was going to do, and so I was going to make sure that it, it didn't matter who was in the ring, you know? You know, I want to keep that promise. It took four years for Caleb Plant to land the title shot that he had promised. And it materialized in the form of heavily favored super middleweight champion, Jose Uzcatake. Then, same as now, the boxing world underestimated Plant's hard-earned resolve. A lot of people were acting like, you know, I wasn't gonna win. Uh, I just felt like I really hadn't got to introduced myself properly to the world, so they wasn't really aware of like what I was capable of. Got two knockdowns early on and won almost every round, so. Yeah, up until this point, yeah, I would consider that to be my defining moment. Boxing. And the new IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Caleb Sweetheart! I've worked my whole entire life for this, 17 years straight. I buried my daughter in the process of trying to get this belt. I promised her that I'd become a world champion and that I'd bring her this title. And that's exactly what I'm gonna go back to Tennessee and do. Nashville, stand up! It was just undescribable, really. Like, I made a promise that I was gonna win that belt and, and I told her I'd bring it to her and that's what I did. You know, you lose someone and it just kind of puts a different perspective on time and like not to be out here, you know, wasting it because it's, it's valuable. You know, that was probably one of the most exciting nights of my whole life. When you set out off on that, on that road, that's the goal, really. I guess every fighter, right? You want to turn pro and become a world champion. And um, there it is, you know, what a, what a great memory. I just felt like it was the beginning of like, okay, yeah, this is what I was telling you guys, so just stay tuned. But. These pictures and what they represent, they're not the top of the mountain. You know, there's, there's still a lot more to accomplish. We all go through things in life that strip us down to like the bare minimum and forces you to have to rebuild yourself. And I just feel like after so many times of having to rebuild myself back up and, you know, just the, through that, I just feel like I'm unstoppable. At first glance, it seems that tough lives beget tough men. But in this case, 
blanket sentiments fail to do this story justice. Because as Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant know all too well, tough lives are not created equal. And these two champions are certainly not the same. Every once in a while, I will think back to how far I've come. But for the most part, I don't feel like it's too beneficial to just keep sitting around worrying about yesterday's victories, you know what I'm saying? There's more that I want, there's more I want to accomplish. And you know, me just sitting around bragging about what I did yesterday, it's like, not gonna help me get to what's next. En el boxeo hay niveles. Nunca ha peleado con alguien como yo y pues eso lo vamos a ver el, el 6 de noviembre. When the lives of these two men intersect, it presents a complicated picture. But strip away the chaos, the tragedies, the violence, the staggering setbacks. And what actually makes these men is simple, shared, and surprisingly serene. It's faith. This is the For two men seeking an undisputed championship, it's faith in themselves, faith that they can overcome, faith that they can transcend. Faith has led them here, to each other, and to the cusp of history. After all, isn't that boxing at its essence? Where regardless of circumstance, what separates the greatest champions is not just the fighting, but the faith in what they're fighting for. Break the